Hello and welcome to day four. This is the breakdown for Midnight on the Water. Today I want to get into two aspects of the approach to Midnight on the Water. So if you've been working on it and yesterday you took a look at the Boeing, I want you today to get a little bit more daring. There's two options you have with your tuning for Midnight on the Water. The traditional version is E, A, D, A. Sorry, I just totally blanked there. E, A, D, A. The way I play it is E, A, D, D. And I just love the resonance I get from lowering my G string to the D. Notice if you tune it to an A, you're tuning up. You're tuning up a full tone. If you lower it to the D, you're going to loosen that string. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to get you to pluck your D open so you can put that tone in your ear and then release your peg but push in as you do so it holds the tension until you can match that D open with the low D octave. Now, it depends on your instrument. Mine loves to creep back up. It wants to go back home to G. So you just have to watch and as you play through, just make sure that that D is staying consistent for you. Can you hear that? Isn't that just rich? It just makes the entire violin vi uh, resonate. Okay, so I'm gonna take us through the A section. And what I want us to focus on is really pulling out, really dramatically, pulling out uh, the double stops with the shift by shifting up to third position. So everything we learned, if, you, if you're a classical musician and you learned how to shift, you would learn how to shift cleanly and there's no sliding and you're really precise in your approach. We're going to do the opposite in this one. You want to be precise in your approach because you want to be in tune, but I want you to drag that F sharp all the way up to the A so that you get a gorgeous um, slide and, and drone, that you're going to create your own drone in this tune by sliding the shift. All right, enough talking and tuning. sharp all the way to my A. When I shift and slide I can hear when I'm home because it resonates beautifully. I can hear the A reflecting back to me. Can you hear that that echo that you get? That is how you know you're in tune. So again most, most of the time, we would not look well upon sliding that entire shift. It's like the student that's doing it. We don't approve of it. In this case, we want to use it to draw out the low D because it's accompanying us. It's a drone. on yesterday where we're pulsing I compared it to a rocking a ship so one two three one two three and now with the D drone you can hear how that's being emphasized Sorry, my D is going already. Uh, 
So your focus, your emphasize, your exercise today is to shift with the slide. <laughs> want to break that down one step further, shift, F sharp, sound the G to the A. What you're doing is ensuring that your hand is in third position, in tune, so F sharp to the G. I'm shifting with my thumb, I don't know if you can see that, thumb and first finger is parallel as I move up. They're moving up together. I'm not keeping my thumb behind. I'm not just raising my wrist. My sleeve's in the way. My hand is completely even as I move up, and my thumb and my first finger move together. So we'll try that one more time. Moving up to the G. That's your basic shifting exercise. Then from there, I want you to move straight, leap out of the G, shift straight from the F sharp to the A. Then I want you to practice right hand emphasis, leaning heavily onto the, onto the low D, your former G string. While there's a huge left hand emphasis on shifting in this song, you also have to apply right hand pressure. Otherwise, this will give you too much of a cloudy tone if you're not sinking into those strings. We don't want to sound like a whisper, we want to sound like a strong dance. Keep your tuner new by because you're gonna have to keep retuning your low your low D. All right. If you have any questions, please send me a note uh, to modelfiddler at gmail.com or post your questions on the Facebook group, Model Fiddler on the Facebook group. I would love to hear your recordings. If you're feeling comfortable posting, go ahead and put that on. It's a safe space. We only support each other, and it's a guide for all of us to get to celebrate the improvement we're gonna see 14 days from now. We're 14 days from day one. So send me a note. I'd love to hear from you guys, and I want to know how this is working for you. We'll see you then.